Hi, students. Welcome to your math lesson of the day. Now, it's been a while since we reviewed about um, counted out change, so we're going to do a quick warm-up question about coins. So let's read out this problem. How much money does Miss Schultz have today? So let's figure out how much money I have today in my pocket. So I have one quarter, four nickels, and three pennies. So, hmm, we need to figure out how much change that is. So, what can you guys remember how much is one quarter worth? How much is one quarter? Shout it out. One quarter is worth 25 cents. And this is our cent symbol right here. <laughs> Let me erase that. But yeah, that's our cent symbol. And then let's see how, and I have four nickels. So how much um, is one nickel worth? Shout it out. One nickel is worth five cents. And we have four of them. So we would have to add this four times. So we have to add five cents of four nickels. Well, we know 5 plus 5 would be what? 10. And then we'll have another set of 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So we have 20 cents worth of nickels. So I'm going to erase this section right here. Okay, we have 20 cents of nickels. And then I have three pennies. So how much is one penny worth? One cent. And since we have three, if we add one plus one plus one, we would get what? We would get three cents. So let's calculate how much change I have today. So we look at our ones place. So we have a five, zero, and three. And we know zero is worth nothing. So we could just ignore that zero being there. So we have five plus three. And if we hold up our, uh, our hands with five fingers and three on one hand, we will have a total of eight fingers and then we move on to our tens place so we have another zero and then two and two and we know zero is worth nothing so we can just ignore the zero and two plus two is what shout it out is four and then we have zero cents in our next place value so we have a total of 48 cents whoop whoop so that's how much money Ms. Schultz has today. Now we're going to hop on into eight, chapter 8.1 in Big Ideas Math. So we are reviewing um, how to add by tens, but we want to do that very quickly. So we don't need to work out our problem because we know how much, um, if we add two into a number, we should automatically know the answer. So if we have, for example, the problem 57 plus 10. Let me make my plus sign a little bit better because it kind of looks sloppy. Okay, here we go. So we have 10 plus 57. Now we know we want to do mental math, so we don't need to work it out. But if we look in our ones place, which two numbers are in my ones place? Shout it out. We In our ones place, we have 7 and 57, and we have 0 and 10. So if we had 0 plus 7, what number is that going to be? Well, zero is nothing, so we just have to move that seven over to our ones place. And then we have one in tens in the tens place, and then we have five in the number 57. That's going to be in our tens place. So we have five plus one, we would get 67. Now let's try another example problem, see if we could do that a little bit faster. So we have the num we have the problem 43 plus 10. Hmm. What number do you think will go on the ones place? It will be three because zero plus three is three. And then we have one in our tens place. We have four and forty-three, and then we have one in ten. So four plus one is, is five. See, we would have the number 53. Now let's try another example. Let me see. You have to make it a very challenging one to challenge you guys before you guys can practice on your own. 
Hmm. Let's do. Ooh, I'm going to make this tricky. Hmm, what goes in the blank? So 87 plus blank is 97. Hmm, what number do you think goes there? Well, if we look in our, um, in our answer, 97, the 7 is the same in 87 and 97. The one's place, the number in the one's place is still the same. So if we have um, some, or we have 7 plus something equals 7, we will know it's 0 because the answer is the same. Oh, yeah, 0. And then if we have 87 and then we have 97 as our answer, what's the difference between 8 and 9? Only one, only one number difference. So we would have 87 plus 10 will be 97. So you might encounter some problems like that where you have to fill in um, the missing piece on Big Ideas Math. But if you guys have any more additional questions about adding with 10 and Big Ideas, please let me know. Thanks.